In today's video, I'll talk about the symptoms of dog liver disease and what to watch for, how and why dogs get it, and what you can do to prevent liver disease. And later, I'll provide a powerful home remedy that helps to rejuvenate your dog's liver. Hi, I'm Dan Scott, canine nutrition and home remedy specialist. And if you're new here, hit the subscribe button below to stay in touch with all the latest videos that I do. And feel free to leave a comment or question. Your dog's liver is the largest organ in the body and works hard to maintain a clean system and much more. Unfortunately, it has a huge load to deal with, particularly from incoming chemicals through diet and veterinary prescribed drugs. What's really important to understand is that eliminating chemicals in your dog's life is your number one task if you're to keep your dog healthy, but more on this later. Your dog's liver has hundreds of functions vital to your dog's overall health, such as metabolizing incoming food, air and water, filtering out toxins, creating the hormones your dog's body needs, producing bile in order to digest food via the gallbladder, producing nutrients like glucose, cholesterol, proteins, vitamins and minerals. So what are the symptoms that show your dog's liver is out of balance? Diet is key to a well-functioning liver, and digestive disorders like bloating, belching, bad gas, diarrhea, and an irritated bowel can mean liver problems. Your dog may have poor appetite, dry brittle nails that easily get infection and often look frayed. Your dog's mood may seem anxious or irritable, even aggressive as he paces the house. Your dog could be in pain, a bit like a bear with a sore head, and if the head is warmer than usual, it could mean a headache. Check the eyes, they may be dull, she may feel off, may have that headache, may be lying around listlessly. The eyes may also be affected, such as pink eye with discharge. And there's also other eye issues that can mean a liver problem. The nose can run without the symptoms of flu. The urine is very dark in color. Your dog may suffer fatigue. Your dog may have ligament and tendon issues. So how does a dog's liver become damaged? The millions of free radicals circulating your dog's body wind up in the liver to be purged and can damage the liver cells. The long-term issue here is that your dog's liver will do its best to self-heal and won't show signs of failing until it's too late. And once the damage is done, it's basically irreversible, so prevention is key. If the liver is damaged or weakened, it will be less able to break down toxins and will begin to store them and release what's called histamines to protect itself. To combat allergens, the brain sends signals for the liver to release histamines and a weakened liver is far less able to remove these histamines as they continue to build up in the body. What then begins to take place is an allergic response such as sneezing, asthma, hives, ear infections, streaming eyes, etc. An overstressed dog's liver means too many toxins and too often and here's where it's vital you focus your attention and cut out as many as you can. Processed foods like kibble, food additives in processed foods like kibble, dewormers, including heart medications, flea and tick pesticides, farm overspray from pesticides and herbicides, pollution, mycotoxins in grains, heavy metals, vaccines, household cleaners, furniture and carpet fire retardants, garden insecticides, lawn care products. Our lifestyle can be very damaging to our dogs and its liver can only do so much to protect itself and regenerate. The chemicals in pet food, flea and tick control, vaccines, dewormers, heavy metals, new household goods and home care products all greatly affect your dog's liver. And this is all on top of the normal day-to-day -day functions your dog's liver has to perform. As free radicals build to unsustainable levels, chronic disease breaks out to affect the liver and other vital organs. With so many signs and symptoms of liver damage, you can be pretty sure your dog's liver is stressed. So how can you limit the damage and prevent your dog's precious liver from further intoxication? Cut back on as many toxins from your dog's home environment as you can. Think about your home environment. Are you using kitchen floor cleaners, carpet products, sanitizers, air fresheners, aerosols of various kinds, even laundry detergents? all have the potential to intoxicate your dog, so think about the cleaner alternatives safe for animals. Reduce your dog's exposure to lawn care products, weed killers, fertilizers, paints, slug pellets, plant food and bug sprays. Seek the natural alternatives that won't lead to long-term disease such as cancer. Don't vaccinate your dog more than every three years. If your vet says annually they're wrong and tell them to check with the AVMA. Give your dog purified water only, not tap. Tap water contains too many chemicals and long-term use leads to health problems. Use a large countertop filter or buy pure spring water. 
Avoid the traditional flea and toxic chemical insecticides and use the natural alternatives. And see another video link in the description below for more on this. Really cut back on antibiotics, as they indiscriminately kill all bacteria, both good and bad, leaving your dog susceptible to infection from yeast overgrowth and the liver burdened with filtering out yet more chemicals. Use natural alternatives, and I'll leave links to my favorite natural products in the description below. Improve your dog's kibble diet. Diet plays a huge role in your dog's life and is the underlying cause of nine out of 10 health problems in dogs. There's a link in the description below to a video all about the healthier kibble diet that does an amazing job of helping your dog to stay healthy and help fix up current health issues such as yeast infections, ear infections, allergies, skin and coat problems, diarrhea, digestion issues, arthritis and much more. And there's no need to change your dog's diet, so this is a great diet for the kibble feeder, boosting your dog's health and lightening the load on your dog's liver while supplying a host of antioxidants to help protect and regenerate your dog's liver. You'll find a link below in the description to a video explaining more about the healthy kibble diet. Give your dog milk thistle, proven to rejuvenate a stressed liver and help prevent further damage. The active ingredient in milk thistle is called silymarin and it's been promoted for dogs as highly beneficial for liver and kidney damage. Liver damage is very common in dogs, especially if subsisting on a commercial processed diet and taking in regular medications and vaccines. Milk thistle will prove a powerful antioxidant to the free radical damage caused by various chemicals floating around your dog's body. Milk thistle will help repair the liver damage so it can continue effectively flushing out toxins such as vaccine chemicals, pesticide residues, antibiotics, steroids, all medications, household and yard chemicals, pet food chemicals. Milk thistle is best used as a liver cleanser to aid in liver recovery by stimulating new liver cell growth and protecting against further toxin damage. It's not intended for long-term use as it loses its effectiveness and can only be used for about six months and then it must be stopped for one month before reapplication. The recommended tincture extract of milk thistle contains 70 to 80% silymarin and should be labeled. Give the tincture starting dose of a quarter teaspoon per 20 pounds of your dog's lean body weight per day divided by two daily doses. And you can also get it in powdered capsule form and give 50 milligrams of, to 20 pounds of your dog's lean weight twice per day, AM and PM, for six months. For example, 100 milligram or 200 milligram capsules can be opened and divided as needed by body weight and added to daily meals. Don't use on pregnant and lactating dogs and consult a holistic vet if your dog is on medications. I'll leave a link to an excellent milk thistle tincture in the description below. Please don't leave it until veterinary blood work comes back with elevated liver enzymes and you're panicking. Fix up the diet, take out as many toxins as you can from your dog's life and detox with milk thistle. And if you found this video useful, please remember to like it, share it with friends and subscribe so you'll always be up to date on all the latest videos that I do. And until next time, I'll see you then. Bye for now.